Hey guys, it's Landon with RH, and I'm going to show you in this video how you can use QGIS to plot some proposed topo calls for a public land survey system retracement survey. So we've got a we've got a, a lot of this work, and we're using QGIS to manage it. And one of the things that we're required to do as part of our specification that we need to meet for one of these projects is we need to show on our retracement survey everywhere the boundary between federal and private land crosses a trail, a ridge, a creek, a road, a lake. So major geographic features. And so what we want to do is have a rough idea of where those features are when we go out to do our field survey based on the USGS topographic quad map. So I have the lines that we need to survey loaded here in QGIS, and I have the USGS quad maps in as a background. And I've created a layer called Proposed Topo Calls. I'm going to show you how that layer is set up here in just a minute. Now I will let you know a couple things. So what the points that we're going to plot uh, in the video today are just GIS grade. We will field survey these, and in fact we have a, an attribute to track that. So they will get field survey uh, field surveyed before we show them on the retracement survey. And uh, I also understand that there may be things uh, that we see on the ground as we walk these lines that do not show up with the quad map. But I think the USGS quad map is going to is going to allow us to identify 90 percent of the of the geographic features that we need to to survey in relation to the boundary between the private land and the federal land. So I think this is going to be a, a helpful tool for us. So let's let me show you how I set this layer up. So it's it's proposed topo calls, and if you pull up the attribute table, you will see that um, it only has a few attributes. So I've given it uh, an ID number each point, and then we have a type. So what type of geographic feature is it? And then we just have a couple true false columns. Um, is it has it been field surveyed? Yes or no? And has it been mapped on our survey in the office? Yes or no? So pretty simple, pretty simple layer. And so you can see I've also set it up to color code. So if uh, we have right now, it's set uh, to indicate if it's been field surveyed or not. So if it's been field surveyed, it's true. If it hasn't been field surveyed, it's false. But you could uh, color code based on any attribute that you wanted. Right now, I just set it up this way uh, to show what's been field surveyed and what hasn't, just as an example. And so let me just show you the way you do that. Um, and I have, a, I have a separate video on our learning channel that, that shows you how to set up a categorized symbology. So uh, right here on your symbology, you just click categorized and then you pick the attribute that you want. So right now I have field surveyed. And then you go in and you set up your each row in your table um, and you set up your symbols, your colors and your strokes and that kind of thing. So uh, if I click on this, you can see an example. So here's how I've set that up. And then if you click here, you can set your 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 uh, properties of your your stroke and your fill. Um, I've also set it up to just label uh, the ID. So the ID is being labeled here uh, with our company font at 16 points, and I've got a little four pixel buffer on it. So that's how it's styled. So that gives us here. You can see the ID labeled with that little buffer, and I've got the stroke. Uh, the dash stroke and the red or green fill. So uh, let's just show you how this would work. Like, what would my survey tech do if they came in here? <clears throat> now, one other thing, I will. Well, I'll get to. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> so let me just show you how that would work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and toggle the layer and make it editable. And then right here, I'm going to click on the create point tool. So the add point feature. And I know as I move up this line here, uh, right here, we're going to cross a creek more than likely so I'm just gonna tag that and we'll give it the ID and we're gonna check this is a creek crossing and it has not been field surveyed or mapped so we'll leave those unchecked there you go draws that in okay same thing here 3006 creek crossing hasn't been field surveyed Okay, now as I come in here, this is gonna a little tricky. I'm gonna get really close to this road here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it in just to be safe. Now the road may not cross the boundary. We'll have to determine that when we're in the field. Let's say road crossing. All right, and then we've got another one. Here's another road crossing.
Now I show you in another video, I'll try and remember to have Lori or myself link to this in the comment, but I have another video where I show you how to set up that drop down list. Let me just show you one more time. So this drop down list, I've got another video that shows you how to set this up so it uses like a valid value table. So this is another road crossing. All right, and this is dynamic, right? So as I go in and change these uh, attributes, the, the field survey to attribute, uh, it will change the color of the symbol. Sorry, that's not what I wanted. Let's open up the attribute table here. And so if I take one of these that's set to false and I set it to true, and then save these edits. Uh, the color changed from red to green because it's now true. Okay, so we're going to do that for this whole area that we have to survey. We're going to um, we're going to work with one of my survey techs, and we're going to go through and tag all the proposed topo calls. Now, what I was going to tell you earlier was uh, we're going to set up another layer for the actual original topo calls in the GLO field notes. That'll be a separate layer with some other information. We will only have original topo calls, which we'll plot in QGIS just like we did the proposed, but that will only be along the section lines because the GLO did not run these aliquot lines on the ground. They only ran these red lines, which are the original section lines. But we will have a separate survey, sorry, a separate layer where we also plot the original GLO topo calls and then all this will get packaged up and will go out to the field crew either in the Avenza mobile app or in um, uh, Mergen, um, I don't know if it's Mergen Maps or Mergen Maps, but the app that lets you bundle up a QGIS project. So our, uh, our field surveyors will have this and then as we field survey these calls and map them, we'll be able to track our progress. Uh, we've got many, many miles of this to do, like, like a lot. <laughs> many many miles so um, on a on a large project like this it makes sense to have a, a GIS to help you keep track of stuff right you don't want to you don't want to miss stuff or lose track of stuff and so QGIS is a great tool to do that